Hey everybody, Spoonbed here, and it's been a long while, but we started a programming video on HTML, and basically what we did then was set up a standard HTML, which should always be there, as it were. Um, but I actually want to elaborate on this because um, this is just my OCD doing this. You also always have a body in HTML and you have a closing HTML tag. Now, actually, to make this more up to date as well, we'll make it in HTML5 compliant and we'll add a header in here. Then you have your content, and then you have a footer. Like so. So this will be the um, standard file, and this is the index file that we created, which looks like so. So let's update this one to make it more uh, HTML5 compliant. And then again, I need to satisfy my OCD. Oh, that's not what I want. That's what I want. Like so, this is the content. That should go there. That should go there. And like I said, we'll make a footer. Um, So, uh, so if we upload this one, this is our file now. As you can see here, it has a header section. It has a. This is actually very ugly, but all right, doesn't matter. And we have a footer section. Uh, I'm not really sure if you need to change anything about that, but I don't. Um, I haven't looked in that, into that yet, but I think you don't need to uh, change anything to the doc, doc type decoration. But I'll, I'll save that in a, for another video. Um, is there anything else that we need? I don't think so. As you can see, the title is still there. This is our H1 header. This is a P and this is a footer. Alright, so the things that we'll be doing today are I'm gonna do a an an H tag and and an image tag. We'll keep it we'll keep it simple today. Um first let's do an H tag. An H tag is basically an anchor. So um what we'll do here is we'll, what you do is you do an anchor then href is basically the location of which you want it to go in this case it will be so if it work and we'll close it like any other tag like so now you can add some options to this uh, you can say target is blank it then will open up a new window you can do self which will open up in this window or you can do top and that will open up into um, the, 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 like the top of this window so um, I'll just leave it blank as in I'm not gonna set it then you also have rel which you can set to no follow or do follow actually but that's just um, 
same as keeping out. No follow means um, the search engines won't follow that link further, so it won't crawl further. That's it basically. Um, are there any other tags? I keep forgetting. Not that I know of. Now, basically, the text between the A, so in this case, that one, is what gets linkable. So, if I load this, you'll see that that one becomes, uh, actually, because this one is already in URL that I visited. But if I click it, you go away from, from this site. If I middle mouse click it, like I showed you in the Get Mental video, you can open up a new um, new tab. So basically, if you want people to have your site open, you'll do um, that. Now, if I load it, click it, it opens up in a new tab automatically. So people will still have your site open. That's a small uh, trick that you can uh, can use. It's a, it's a very small one. It's not not a big one. Um, so that's the H H A. Sorry, it's an A tag. Uh, then three schools. I think it is. Damn no, that's what I'm afraid of. It's W three school dot com. Yeah, it's W three schools dot com. So sorry, that's right. H tag. I want to see what else is in there. Um, that, yeah, I'll explain the name. That's pretty cool as well. Um, row and ref shape. Here, target. Oh, you even have a parent now. That's pretty cool. Or frame name. You can also do it in iframes, that's pretty cool. And you can even do these things, but I'm not going to do that because we haven't discussed those ones. So let's go. Coordinates, what's coordinates? Oh, that's pretty awesome. Let's try that one. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can um, specify the coordinates of where it is in inside the picture, and then you can load that picture. Um, as you can see here, the sum is um, like this: this rectangle of zero, zero. So zero, zero is there. Eighty-two by one hundred twenty-six, or eighty-two by one hundred twenty-six. So if I click anywhere in that square or rectangle, it will load the sun. This one, circle, means it's position 80, or sorry, position 90 by 58. So it's 90. So it's 8 further than that one. Then 58 down. So 90, 58. And that's that. And a circle radius of three pixels, and this is the same, but then the 124 by 58, so it's always the center, and then a circle of eight. So that's that's pretty cool. And Sony Sport and Firefox all probably it doesn't matter. It's freaking awesome. I quite like it. Um, so that's that. I'm not gonna use it in my site, so I won't do it. Uh, oh, here you can specify like the uh, href lang and it's basically used to get a better sense of what the target should be it's not really name I'm gonna explain because name is like yeah the anchor name uh, that's freaking awesome which I like because then you can yeah I how can I I'll explain how this works don't you work? All right. So rel, you have no follow. Um, like I said, but you can also do. Oh, you have a bunch of things now. 
is used by Google, so you should not follow links, mostly used for paid links, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so you can do tag, you can say friend, you can say license, you can do, like, it's an index or something, or a table of contents. The next document, or previous one, it's a style sheet, which is used a lot, actually. Um, glossary, copyright. Uh, chapter and section subsection appendix these you can use to make the web more semantic as it's called so it's that's why I said it's a new way of doing stuff it hasn't been used a lot but uh, maybe the more people use it the better it will become anyway that's well then you have ref which is basically the same it doesn't really matter if you say ref or rel Oh, sorry, no. Rel is between you and the link document, and ref is the reverse, so that's what the link document is to you. So you can do link to a link document, and then you can say, well, the link document there is a, uh, uh, or like this one here, if you link from a certain page, or actually style sheet, it will be weird, but you can say in style sheet that this style sheet is a rev for that document there or on your copyright page you would do a rev to um, your nor normal page or index so you say I am the copyright page of that site uh, no sorry get away around on a copyright page you would say link to the index and you say that index is from me that's what I mean sorry so rev friend means that funk travel is a friend now of this document here which is w2 schools um yeah the shape we already saw you can do rectangle or a circle and you give it um values so you've got a polygonal polygonal region a rectangular and a circle and this one takes multiple um I call it multiple coordinates. So, wait, and uh, target, we already did that, I think. Yes, yeah, so it's new in the same, this default. In the parent frame, in the full body, oh, that's it, the full body of the window. Ah, okay, cool. In the name frame, you can make frames. Um, so you can load multiple frames if you want and you could say open this thing up in frame name uh, frame 2 whatever top means it will do it in the full body so if you're in a frame and you do top it will load into the full body and if you do parent it will load into the parent frame so and I must say the, like these last three I haven't used very much I actually use the, this one that one most of the time uh, let me do name now. So, what can we do? Um, well, name, I cannot really show you because I don't have enough text, but name is for example. Oh, I can show you with their example. That, that, that's way easier. Try so. Okay, what does name do? Here, you can say I want chapter 1 to be chapter 1 uh, like name because if you click this you will go to chapter 4 so as you can see here in the code you do href and then you do a if it's on the same page a hash or a pound symbol and then the name whatever you gave it so here there's name c4 but we can also do 2 2 I'll we'll make this um, href. Oh no, sorry. Name equals c2 like that. Like so. That has a click me two, and now we go to two. So that's the name, and that's that's very handy sometimes because I've had um, on Windows that's so move out of I've had sections where I had that when I linked to, for example, the Windows 7 part, 
you could click on that and add a name and you jump down to the Windows 7 part so that's it for the um, A tag which is the anchor tag I did not say that already um, let's do an image so I'll load a image here image is basically image source and then whatever the picture is in this case um, it's just something I know from the top of my head home.png I think it's called and then you can say the width if you want you can specify the height height if you want that's not correct is it no why is it not correct sorry that's correct height um but more often than not you do it like this uh, let's see if that one loads because I have no idea that, yeah so there we go it's a small icon and let's say we also want to make that icon clickable we'll just say it's the home so home in this case will be file w dot dot c uh, slash no slash and c like that No idea if that will work, but so we're going to wait to find out. Right, so if we can click that, yeah, so now we, we will go there. We could also make this um, standard. So if we reload now, it will get us back to standard. So that's um, basically how you load a image and we could go to schools.com because I'm learning a lot from this too. Um, image stack. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about the alt. So source is the URL, which is whatever it is. Um, you could also have if you have a picture in the same directory as the rest of the files, you could just do. Um, oh, sorry, this is the wrong one. Let me just delete that one because that will be annoying. If you have it in the same directory, you can also do it like so because it will always search in the current directory. But if I do this, it will not load anything. So I'll do it like so. Um, let me check. Alt is the text that you'd see. You can align them, but uh, it says use styles instead with all of this. And that's true, but the width um, use map cool. You can even do long description and height are still the same. Uh, and the line they should, they say you could do better with um, CSS file, which we'll be making as well. Um, oh, and here it is map. So you can have it on is map or use map. Ah, uh, that's it. So an image map is an image with clickable areas. So you can like this. Um, where you where you click that will be sent to the URL so that's not really for us and is map is you can say here use map plan a map and here you define that map <clears throat> which we've seen earlier um, doing the whole coordinates the chords stuff in the I believe it was the A section, A tag. 
So yeah, so if you try this yourself, you get this image again. Um, so it's really not something I'm using now anymore, but you could use it still uh, because you might have images or you might have places on your site where you want people to click and you can actually make games with it if you want. So uh, that's it for the image tag and for the H or the A tag. So we got the anchor tag which can link to other stuff. And we got an image tag to load um, our pictures. So um, yeah, that's it for um, this second installment of programming HTML.